Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Mass Effect 2. Let's go talk to... Okay, let's load. Let's go talk to Liara, who is up here somewhere. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara, we're Hi. pleased to see you. Um, what do you do here? You're Liara's assistant. Yes, Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't well, soon she'll have contact, something a little bit better. I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. You're suspicious. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more Smart political girl. power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll okay. talk to you later. Of course, Commander. <laughs> Liara has changed a lot since the first game. I think she's changed the most out of any character. Hi, have honey. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. Oh, dear. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. <laughs> Shepard, Nixeris, hold my calls. The Liara that is slightly different from the one in Mass Effect 2. Hi, Liara. I love your face. Your very much changed face. My oh, sources said you were faces alive, less changed, but... but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Same here. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years... Sorry, Liara. And now you're What kind of bills would she have? Gunning for the Besides collectors rent. with Cerberus. You're well informed. It's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. Samara. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. So now I need to go ask her. <laughs> transportation hub. I'm looking about for Thane. Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. I remember her from the first he contacted game. contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. You just knew that? That was all just off the <clears throat> top of your head? I'm a very good information broker. <laughs> I'm very good the at my world job. Of intrigue isn't that <clears throat> different from a dig site. Um, except that the dead bodies still smell. I'm pretty sure Thanks the ones in the dig site do too. All I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. We'll get the shadow broker in a while. We're not going to do that quest what about yet. You, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. Want things you need help? What kind of I things can do help. you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. <laughs> that helped. Listen, if it have to do help, with me too, technically. I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. I can help. I'm good at that. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium. You could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Yeah, tell me what's going on. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Okay, I'll see if what I can help do. You, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. Great. This may help me pay a great oh. debt. We'll do this one in a bit. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Bye, Lee. Because first things first, for human expansion as the on we need to go get ourselves a thing. Then maybe we'll help out Liara. Hey, it's a Solarian. Listen. I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got uh -huh. out of the wall from the we're starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get <coughs> it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. So I'll have to go there. Okay, then. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Well, fine, then. Me. I'll talk to her in a minute. 
Because there's something very, 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 very important that I need to do. It's very important. Does it? Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I need... Hi! The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. You're a jerk face. I want... This. And... This. And that. Because I've got the credits for it all. I think this is what I'm looking for. What do you want? Whoa. Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan Seriously? love poems are getting on my nerves. Oh, it's the Krogan, Krogan side quest. Bothering you? No, hmm. no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. Oh, He's harmless. Ethereum. Which, I know, Red Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His soul. name is Char. Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a <laughs> She's dating a Krogan! And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> really bad. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date. Whoa. For something permanent? Maybe. I mean... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. <laughs> it makes me wonder if he really likes me. <clears throat> or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. Well, he could. It's just most of them would die. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. See, he loves you. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got <laughs> a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries. For a few centuries. Eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed. Let your, your scalp go back to its natural blue and settle down with someone dependable. Dying your scalp? You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. You should you get rid of him. You should take him back. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, <laughs> I like him as Shepard, helping kids. everyone out. Am I just his baby making machine? He said I wasn't, but Then you're not. He said that then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about or you don't. And you've already decided. I I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. Got a there. And I do trust him if he said it. I'm He's going probably to being to truthful. Here. I've given you a discount at the terminal. Yes. Thanks for the help. Discount, discount. Aww, that's so adorable. I've persuaded the Asari. Fish! My fish. I need more fish. Must have more fish. Must have more fish. Can I get more fish on the other side? Maybe? More fish? Fish, fish, fish? Shiala! I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. Up, up, up. Hi there. Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Fish. 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 Nope. No fish. I just wanted some fish. Where's Shiala? I swear I saw her. Shiala. Wait, what? Oh, she's right there. She blends Shepherd. in with the chair she's sitting, sitting I, on. I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Hey. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it and saved me. Yes, I, I did. to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's it doing? How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. That's the good. Jenny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. That's not necessarily good. Is it Exo Jenny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exo Jenny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. 
That's they good. They seem to want to help us survive. Even and though there's the no people there. Dead. Though after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. It's like, wait, please I don't tell me it's alive. After our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Can I help? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities. I'd like to help. And I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. And something but bad happened. The medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. That's dickish. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. Uh -huh. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures? Yes, they can. No. Oh. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Which is probably Zero's a lot. Hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. Why are you green? <laughs> Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Yeah, probably. Why are you Wait green? Minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. Now I'm green. <laughs> months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. So I'm she got messed with. having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. This can be bad. Talk to the She's a Thorian. Group. She's the I new Thorian. You, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Okay. Fine. This is probably going to get me a discount here. Which... I haven't bought anything there yet, so... I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. Yes, I am. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's the point? Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. Uh, All the health of the colonists does. Humans, Salarians, Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Racist! <laughs> so racist. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? Ugh, where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing it's... the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? <laughs> or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Yeah, humans are kind of dicks, honestly. It's plagued this galaxy. Kind of jerk faces. caused by your people. Hey. People's deaths are on your hands. Sounds personal. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. Quarian? She was with a Quarian? My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. Oh, I remember her. Oops. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Tell me about your family. How was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. Aww. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They and like then they all people. died. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I Probably know. not. I didn't. Ha! <laughs> Owned! 
<laughs> yep, we just made a mother really sad. I feel bad. Here, have a hand. I just made Masari cry. An amended contract. No more tests. No fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Oh! And she's gone. I helped. Did you get the star charts? I, I helped. You did it. I made a girl I cry, but I helped. I just revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I Yay. don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? It's not all bad. Power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them Aww. down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here. Good Shepard. girl. You're so I'll great. I'll doing what I can. Maybe some time when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. I'm a one Turian woman, honey. One Turian woman. One Turian woman. Okay, let's go get ourselves a Justicar. Hey, Officer Dara. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? Did she kill somebody already? <laughs> Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Cool. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Aha. Uh -huh. Is Samara, about Samara really that dangerous? Yeah, just if a little. If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If, if someone tries like to Omega. Her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Oops. <laughs> Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she kills None of us people, questions it. Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. <laughs> it's a big <laughs> diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. I In can see ways, why. They're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Where'd I'm she looking go? for Samara. Like I said, she's. Oh, wait. You can hail a cab at the pet. Give me the cab. Let's go get ourselves a Justicar. This is going to end horribly. Like, really badly horribly. Oh well. Stuff happens. Load, 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 load. Waiting for it. Load, 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 load. Waiting for it. What? Don't look at me in that tone of voice, guys. Let's take, as usual, Garrus and Tolly. Because they're my peoples. They're my peoples. I think that's good. Let's go. Um, no, I meant... Oh, right, I have to hit circle. Wrong button. And Samara's obviously possibly killing someone right now. Where do you think you're going? Uh, murder. I'm right? taking my goods to Omega, detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to sure, get Sure, always of. blame it on the mercenaries. Victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. Um, I that's not how it works. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney for. Ha! Find me in the station if you need me. It's like you are not going anywhere until I'm done with your face. Let's 
So let's see if we can find ourselves a Samara. We'll probably talk to this guy too. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. You probably got I your partner killed, didn't more you? Trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got they to get off better this be. world. Why is everyone? Do you know where she? She tell is. me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Great. <sighs> Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. That's excessive. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. Uh, occasionally. But only in well-lit places. With my guard. With your twin Torians. And only after the creds clear. Seriously, I think this they're the same model. This is a scummy model. bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Okay. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Oh wait, talk that about this. I saw his body Murder this morning. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? Because you... I have no idea. He has an idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dacny yeah. Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now... He killed his partner. worry is me... It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. T I should go. Let's go see if we can find ourselves a Samara after we talk to the spaceport official? Or the detective? I need... I need... I need... This. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Hi, honey. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. I'll try. What can I do? I'll probably you? fail. I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need her help. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. I didn't even tell you my We've cause got was. That covered. If you're getting <laughs> her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. Why? You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. Probably she true. Herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. Which would be I have no bad. In dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Just don't follow the Your order? superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. <laughs> Shut up, Darius. about twice a day. <laughs> Shut up, Darius. Shut up, Tolly. Love you too. Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. Can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Samara would kill a cop? Yep. That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, okay. but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. Give me directions, oh, Honeybuns. We have to go it's get ourselves a Samara. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have Great! To Which means we're going to have to fight through Eclipse Mercs, even though it's supposed to be a secure crime scene! We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Okay. Sure. Why not? Spaceport official, do you have a- I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every sorry does. Why would you want? That seems like a bad Anaya thing. I told to us be. to let you through. 
Watch yourself. There's oh, 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 oh. I need, I need. There we go, that's what I need. Um. Okay. Hello, monsters! Hello, monsters! Monsters? No. M -m 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 monsters? Oh, there we go. Nope! Oh, they ran right into my singularity. That's so cute! Hi there! Oh, hi there, now you die. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Yes, sir? Oh, that was easier than I thought it'd be. Ha! Those were my best troops. Well, you're trying to go against a, uh, just a car? That was your first problem. And I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. I could kill you. The name you. of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. Okay, I guess that means I got permission. I mean, <laughs> never fuck with a Justicar. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Okay then. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Nice asset, Samara. Nice, Samara. Very out the there assets. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? Friends. I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need the best. I get suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. Oh, I see an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I can help. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. <laughs> my code obligates dying me to cooperate with you for one day. That's After good! that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. <laughs> I will kill you! That That's bad. What just happened? Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince you <laughs> I'm human. with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. Yep. I'm afraid so. Maybe I can help. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Okay. Tell me more about Justin. Sure, why not? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. It's got a point there! Quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari her space. Her eyes are huge! But I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will They're accept like that. They're like freaking huge! Okay. This Justicar code seems quite strict. Oof. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. She's got like Lady Gaga bad romance eyes. Where do I start? Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. So Get I should talk to him. him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, we'll do. To get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> you have one day before I murder a lot of people. 
because she is way too powerful to tell her no. Okay, Mr. Pitney 4, we need to have a discussion. Wait a minute. He moved! Stop moving around! Hi. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You lied to me. You said you didn't know anything about all this. You got one chance to change that statement. What Before I get angry. Clan? Whoops. I'm just trying to get my goods off this planet. Work with me, honey buns. Blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Or you're going to die soon. Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. <laughs> yep. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. Red sand! It also is toxic. Red sand. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and... Forgot to mention that it's chemicals. Tell me about this toxic. chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3. And it's very... Very, um, illegal. You don't say! Anyone with biotic powers who is exposed to it becomes more powerful. And then bad things happen, the right? The higher your exposure, the more powerful you get. But too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found oh. disagreeable. And then their people started dying and they got angry. I wonder why! It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. At least he admits it. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. Great. I need a she ship's name. recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. Of course they do. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Just in case. It's like, you should probably give that to me, dude. Take it. <laughs> but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Good to know. I think it's this way? No. This way. Okay. We're gonna do that in the next video, guys. My name is Miss Grotenager, and I'm playing some Mass Effect 2. I'll see you all in the next episode.